understood what I've just said to you? Yes. Lung cancer. Inoperable. Old or new, these are the series that made the best use of their place on the small screen. Bye, Smoopy. Bye, Smoopy. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ultimate decade-defining TV shows. For our series on the top 10 decade-defining shows per era, we picked series that spoke to the period in which they were made and set the standard for television during that time. These shows were chosen for how important they were in their respective eras, regardless of when they started or finished. Ha, ha. <laughs> Number 10, The Cosby Show. Clear off the table, put the dishes in the dishwasher, okay? And do it right. Then can I go? Then you can live. <laughs> Bill Cosby is one of America's best loved comedians, and this show is a big reason why. How far apart are your wife's contractions, Mr. Roller? <laughs> 35 minutes? Cosby starred as Dr. Heathcliff Huxtable, an obstetrician trying to hold together his upper middle class family through various trials and tribulations. It was one of TV's biggest hits of the 1980s, bringing together Cosby's family friendly comedic style with serious subject matter. Her daughter and her friends, our daughter included, decided to play the alphabet game while chug-a-lugging bourbon and it seems that Vanessa was very drunk when she left. She must have lost. <laughs> a combination that was almost solely responsible for the revival of the sitcom genre and NBC's ratings. Do, do you know that I graduated from Hillman and went on to one of the best medical schools in the country? Hudson. I've never been sued. <laughs> Number nine, Survivor. First tribe to finish, gets the tarps. First three to finish, get immunity. Last to finish, Tribal council, somebody going home. It's hard to imagine now, but reality shows once weren't very popular on broadcast TV. That is, before this series came along and they blew up in the 2000s. Left, right, left, right. Thankfully for us viewers, Survivor brought reality to the networks in a big way. People at home watching identify with me. I'm like a person at home watching on the couch, remember? I was the couch potato. It showcased contestants trying to outwit, outplay, and outlast each other in desolate locales in order to win a million dollars. I'm thinking, you know what? Take your time, Johnny Fairplay. Slow and steady wins the race. Every season introduced a compelling new cast of unpredictable competitors. Billy, the tribe's spoken. And we loved watching them interact in gorgeous places like the Australian Outback. We have nothing to sustain us through the morning today. We're praying for fish. We have only two hooks right now. Number eight, Breaking Bad. Oh, the hell did we just walk into? Although a relatively recent entry, we had to place this AMC show, regarded by some as the best of all time, somewhere on the list. Is there something wrong with your table? Okay, Ionic Bonds. Walter White, played by Brian Cranston, is a high school chemistry teacher diagnosed with cancer who starts cooking meth in order to leave his family in financial security after his death. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. The setup alone promises an adventurous show, but it's the near-perfect execution that really riveted audiences. I liked it. I was good at it. Viewers joined White on an exhilarating five-season journey that, in the words of show creator Vince Gilligan, took Walter from Mr. Chips to Scarface. That is $9,720,000. Where did it come from and why is it here? I earned it. Number seven, Doctor Who. I don't understand your attitude. Oh, yours leaves enough to be desired. This show is the longest running sci-fi series in the world. And it's easy to understand why when you see its early episodes. Are you saying that you don't know how to work this thing? Of course I can't. William Hartnell and Patrick Troughton made for excellent early incarnations of the Doctor. 
and they were surrounded by awesome companions. It's difficult to tell. In its early years, the show was more educational in focus, which made for great family viewing. I don't discuss my private life with strangers. After its debut at the beginning of the 60s, Doctor Who became a mainstay of British culture and a massive cult hit. But nobody knows that because no one can remember them. Number 6. Friends. You remember my brother Ross? Sure. Hey. <laughs> True to its name, the chemistry between the pals who made up this sitcom's ensemble cast was what made it one of a kind. You've had feelings for me. Yeah, what? So? You had feelings for me first? Whoa. Huh. <laughs> the Friends were a group of 20-somethings struggling to survive in New York, and their personal and professional lives made for laugh-out-loud funny and surprisingly moving TV. All right, do you want me to get dressed or do you want to hear a really long story about the senior hayride? Are you only asking him? I... <laughs> the strength of individual personalities like Quirky Chandler or Doofus Joey was only matched by the way they interacted with each other. Let me tell you something, Ross. There's lots of flavors out there. There's Rocky Road and cookie dough and bing, cherry vanilla. Which helped this staple of NBC's must-see TV lineup redefine 90s sitcoms, inspire a generation, and become one of the most influential shows ever. Well, you know, as much fun as that was, I've decided to opt for sanity. Number five, The Simpsons. The torch has been passed to a new generation of uh, snow plow people. Come on, give me the key. These look like teeth marks. I thought there was chocolate inside. This animated sitcom spoofed American middle class life, pop culture, and, well, seemingly everything. Fine. I'll never ever do another stupid thing. Good night. We loved regulars like Bart and Homer, but even characters that only showed up once in a while were memorable enough to secure places in our hearts. I want this Simpson fellow to perform comedy at my party. I must harness his fractured take on modern life. Fine, sir. I'll get him started on some snappy Sinbad-esque material. The Simpsons left a huge imprint, both on the TV world and on pop culture in general. Its trademark wit would be imitated, though never quite matched for years to come. And while it dipped in quality after decades on the air, nothing can take away from the Simpsons' talent at their peak in the 90s. <clears throat> Here's an impression of Mr. Burns that you might find a little cheeky. <gasps> Number four, Cheers. Where everybody knows your name. NBC's other 80s juggernaut was almost canceled in its first season due to low ratings. It held on, however, to become one of the most beloved shows in TV history. Christmas comes earlier every year, doesn't it? Well, I think if you check, Sam, it always comes on the 25th of December. <laughs> Taking place in the titular bar, where Bostonians met to drink and where everybody knows your name. It depicted the lives of employees and patrons alike. So, what's everybody else doing? I don't know. Yeah, we had a kind of snuck up on me. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like fun too. <laughs> the show's willingness to tackle issues like alcoholism and homosexuality, albeit with a sense of humor, made it a trailblazer. This is gonna be great. Did somebody put a gag on Andy Hardy? <laughs> And it earned what was then a record 117 Emmy nominations for its role as the anchor of NBC's must-see TV lineup. Screaming Viking over here, please. I don't know what's going on here, but I've been a bartender. Bartender, make it two. Come right up. Wait a minute, there is no such drink as a screaming Viking. I think I'll have a screaming Viking. <laughs> Number three, I Love Lucy. Stop that, now go back and sit down. <laughs> This was one of TV's first multicam shows, and its innovations don't stop there. Well, what job did you have in mind? Uh, what kind of jobs do you have open? Oh, well, what do you do? What kind of jobs do you have open? I Love Lucy was one of the first successful series with a female lead, and it set the bar high for comedies with leads of both genders. It's so tasty, too! <laughs> The real-life couple of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz 
made for one of the funniest and most endearing TV husband and wife teams. Where'd you learn to do all this? Oh, just a natural born cook, I guess. And their adventures made for some hilarious physical comedy. <laughs> Tackling taboo issues as well as silly ones, this series set the standard for all sitcoms that followed. So why don't you join the thousands of happy peppy people and get a great big bottle of, uh, Vita, Vini, Vini, Mini, Mini, Yes, I'm a very lazy eater. And that's why I like soup. First of all, it looks half digested when they put it down in front of you. Number two, Seinfeld. Clearly, the 90s was a great decade for TV, and this sitcom narrowly missed the top spot, taking number two thanks to its bizarre sense of humor, No soup for you! <laughs> ensemble cast, and unique individual characters like the one and only Kramer. Boy, he's a weird guy, isn't he? Hey, hey. <laughs> Created by stand-up comedian Jerry Seinfeld and his friend and George Costanza counterpart Larry David, the famous show about nothing transformed television forever with its sharp writing, near-constant quotables, and unforgettable gags. We'll find a space. There's spaces in the other lot. Well, I don't want to walk that far. Uh, what if a handicapped person needs it? Oh, come on. They don't drive. Yes, they do. If anything defined television in the 1990s, it was this show. Not that there's anything wrong with that. What? What's the matter? It's over. Before we unveil our pick for ultimate decade-defining TV show, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, at last, a mature and passionate love duet between me and my turn. Uh, well, you're, you're not doing it with me. What? Burhead. Cracker. <laughs> Spear chucker. Rat trash. Jungle Bunny! Honky! There's a man out there. What? Look, look, he's crawling on... Are they trustworthy, these guys? Yeah. Make sure. Sir Illin, bring me his head. <laughs> Number one. Tim, McIntyre, can you hear me? Mash. One more yell like that and you and I will have interchangeable parts. Topping our list is a show whose finale broke viewership records, but it had been entertaining audiences for 11 seasons before that. Oh, of course. <laughs> Based on the popular 1970 film of the same name, MASH followed the team at a mobile army surgical hospital in the Korean War. Dismissed. Not quite a comedy and not quite a drama. The show brought laughs as often as it prompted tears. Henry Blake's plane was shot down over the Sea of Japan. And its wartime setting was particularly poignant due to the ongoing Vietnam War. But the show blended genres effectively thanks to high-quality writing, impeccable acting, and unforgettable characters. You're beat, Captain. I suggest you hit the sack this afternoon instead of chasing nurses. A good idea, Frank, but some of those girls have been waiting for months. Do you agree with our list? Could I be wearing any more clothes? <laughs> what TV show do you think is the most decade-defining? <laughs> For more memorable top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Job spoken.